Hey guys, Jessica Schwartz here, and I wanted to jump on today to talk about how to make money from your self-published book. And I also want to note, uh, just I, I'm just starting out on this YouTube thing, and I'm loving it so far. Uh, but just as a side note, I know that with this background, it's kind of just my living room, <laughs> dining table, Amazon boxes that just got delivered. There's a tree over there. Uh, my cat is often walking around in the background, and uh, we're going to be moving soon, where I will have my own office and that will be a much better uh, background for videos and so that you guys are not distracted by all the things going on behind me but that'll be coming soon um, we're actually going to be moving in the next couple of months because we are buying a place here in Brooklyn which is very exciting um, but today I want to talk about how to make money from a self-published book this is something that I get asked quite a bit about um, not only from authors who are interested in self-publishing but also so because I myself am a self-published self author, I have two published books, which um, I believe they're in the description below, but I do have two published books, and the reason why I wrote my first one might surprise you. Um, the thing is, is just as a real-life example of using books as a marketing tool, which is one of the reasons, one of the ways you can make money from self-publishing, and I want to tell you a little bit about my story and why I wrote my first book. I wrote, I wrote and published my first book in 2017. Uh, it actually was published in August of 2017, which was literally the realization of a dream. I've always wanted to be an author. I've always wanted to be a writer. Um, being a freelancer and doing what I do is truly the realization of a dream. And despite the sometimes loneliness and despite the uh, trials and tribulations of entrepreneurship and making money as a full-time freelancer, I do love it. I do truly love it. And um, despite stress and anything else, there isn't anything I'd rather be doing. And that's one of the reasons why I get on YouTube now, because I want to share my experience with others. And basically, um, the reason I wrote my first book was not just because I'd always wanted to be an author. Um, I had been doing some ghostwriting, and I had ghostwritten several books that were published and out on the market. And um, when you ghostwrite a book, you sign a non-disclosure agreement, which means you cannot share your participation and your book, your name is not associated with the book. Uh, I was paid up front to help with the material and the book and getting it all put together, and then my name was not in any way associated with it. So what that means is every time a client came to me or every time I would be reaching out to clients to say, hey, I'm a ghostwriter, do you need any assistance? they would say, great, can I see some writing samples? And while I could easily send them uh, personal writing samples from my blog and from some other clients, I was not able to share any ghostwritten books, which of course uh, is makes it a little bit of a tougher sell. I'm basically just saying, hey, trust me, I can write a book. <laughs> Um, and so because that is very common with ghostwriting books and you do have an NDA, I decided that it was high time to get my own book out on the market. If nothing else, I'd be able to point to it and say, see, I told you I could write a book. And so that is exactly what I did. I took a lot of content that I had been sitting on or that I'd put on my blog or that I had been wanting to write. And I wrote an outline and I wrote my book. I wrote it in about two and a half, maybe three months. And it ended up being about 32,000 words. It is a guide to freelancing as a business. And that's something that's really important to me is I treat my freelancing as a business. I did file as an LLC. I do run my business as a business. I keep track of all expenses and I have a CPA. And it's really important to me to treat it as a business. It's not a hobby. It's not something that's just for fun. Um, I have processes. I have contracts. I have... Um, tools and organization and productivity tools. I just think it's really important to treat it as a business. So that is what I do and that is what I help others if they want to learn how to do as well sometimes. Um, but the main thing I want to talk about tonight, or today, because it's the middle of the day for me, is self-published uh, authors and how you can make money as a self-published author. Um, so you absolutely can make money from your book. Um, most authors these days, especially self-published, but most, most authors in general um, are not making a living off of their books alone, unless you're a Nora Roberts or a David Baldacci or a Stephen King um, or a J.K. Rowling. You're, you're really not in this day and age with the way book sales work these days. 
it really is very difficult to make a living as an author alone. So if you are a full-time author and you only have one or two books out there, you are unlikely to be making a full-time salary. And this is really something that is important to me to tell you the truth on. I don't want to sugarcoat it. I don't want, I, but I also don't want to crap all over your dreams. I love being an author. I love being a writer. It's something that I get a lot of joy and accomplishment out of and money. It's just that it's not from the book by itself. And there are several ways that you can use a book to make money, and I wanna tell, tell you about those now. First of all, your book is a marketing tool. Um, the fact is, is that when you write a book and publish a book, as an author, you automatically are going to have more credibility, more authority, you're gonna be seen as a thought leader and an expert in your field. You are going to be furthering or growing your brand, your personal brand, or the brand of your company. In my case, that's kind of one and the same, since I'm just a one-person company. But in many cases, it's not. So if you're an entrepreneur and you have a huge team and you're writing a book about your, um, whether it's a self-help or a productivity book or your story, um, you're not only furthering your personal brand, but that of your company as well. Um, and then, of course, it is a way to attract clients. People are going to read your book. Maybe somebody referred it to them. Maybe it came up in the search on Amazon. Maybe they Googled it. People read your book and they're going to be interested because if they're interested enough to read your entire book, they're probably interested in you. And so they're going to look you up. They're going to find your website. They're going to look at your blog. They're going to look at your products or services. And you are going to gain clients simply by having a book as and it acting as a lead generator and as a marketing tool. Um, and for me, I actually have opt-ins in the front of my book where if somebody is reading my book on an ebook and they and at the front of it, it says, hey, for bonus material, click here. They click there. It takes their email address and phone number. And then I have my mailing service, which I use mail Chimp, automatically generate a email to go to them with whatever the free bonus material is that I designed. But now I have their email address. So they are now um, potential leads for me, which is also awesome. So it is a marketing tool. Like I said, puts you as a thought leader and an expert, allows you to grow your brand and that of your company, allows you to attract clients and um, potentially gain new clients and act as a lead generator. Another way that a book can make you money is by speak by getting speaking gigs. And um, most people don't realize this. Speaking gigs are not uh, something that people tend to just come up and be told about. Um, most of the time, if you want to get a speaking gig, if anyone wants to get a speaking gig, they are the ones going out and doing research and saying, hey, there's this conference in a nearby town that would be perfect for me. It really covers similar topics to what I write on. You would then reach out to the organizers of the conference, introduce yourself, explain that you are a published author, here's your background, here's what you speak on, and would they be interested in bringing you on? And so um, that is how most speaking gigs work. Um, I believe TEDx is actually the exact same way. Like you go out and apply to be a TEDx speaker. They don't just show up at your door or give you a call or send you an email. So that is how most speaking gigs work for conferences and conventions, unless you are are, um, you know, Robert Herjavac, Mr. Wonderful, uh, Laurie Grenier, most of the time, uh, most speakers are not uh, internationally renowned and you have to reach out and find them. But it's a great way to get paid speaking gigs to go out and find them and introduce yourself and network and get out there. And then doing the speaking gigs themselves are fantastic networking ways. You are furthering your brand, you're showing your credibility, you can sell your books or give away your books as a marketing tool there and a way to get leads. And you're also networking with people who are interested in your topic. So speaking gigs are a great way to use your book as a launching pad to make money. And then one of the other things is selling other products or services. If you now have a company or if you intend to have a company, Having a book is a fantastic way for you to actually go in and get um, ways for them to like get to know you. Um, you can use it as a generator. For example, uh, when I was marketing my new course, How to Write a Book in Three Months, I actually gave away free copies of my first book as a way for people to get more information about me and get kind of a bonus free material for checking it out. Um, and most of those people, not everyone's gonna convert into a client right away. Perhaps they will in the next round, perhaps they will in the future, perhaps they won't ever, and that's okay too. Because it's my choice to offer the book for free 
as a way to uh, garner interest and get people who are interested in me and my writing and what I can do for them, um, as well as using it as a sales point to say, hey, I'm going to give you this for free. Also, are you interested in this other thing, this course, this t-shirt, this bag, whatever it is you're selling, um, especially like as if you have a service-based business like book coaching or life coaching um, organization, if you're doing beauty, whatever your online business is, graphic design, financial consulting, any any online-based business can benefit from having a some material, whether it's a guidebook or a workbook or a, or, um, a full-length nonfiction book, can benefit from having material that you offer for free. Same reason why a lot of companies have blogs. It's another way to offer valuable information for free to their site visitors and to garner interest in what they do. So that is the main three ways for me that I feel uh, I make money from my book is using it as a marketing tool, which of course furthers my brand, put, puts me up as an expert and attracts clients, um, getting or looking for speaking gigs, which I actually right now am not doing a lot of. I have been on a couple of panels. I have been um, invited to speak at a few conferences uh, that I have gone out and looked at or researched or in my field. But um, at this current time, I am right and we're about to move. Uh, we're actually buying a place. We're about to move. We're doing a lot of stuff. So I'm not currently looking for those. But at some point in the near future, I will be again. Um, and then of course, to sell other products and services and to garner interest in you. And so I want you guys to think about how you can use your book, how you would use your blog or your podcast or your YouTube channel, how you're using that to springboard you into other things. And so that's what a book can do for you. Of course, you're going to sell copies of your book. Of course, you're going to market that and be an author and have the book as a standalone product, but there's so much more you can do with it also. And that's what I want you guys to think about. So I hope this was useful and I want to hear from you if you have any questions, concerns, if there's anything that you want to know. I'm going to link a short article below about this topic um, specifically that has a couple more examples that I didn't give. Um, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I hope this was helpful. Bye guys!